Hi, it's Marlo from Wild Food UK. Uh, it's the middle of June, it's a beautiful day. Um, we're out looking for some mushrooms. There are mushrooms that grow all year round. And we've found some on this bit of dead wood here. Now this is a mushroom that you can generally find all year round. You can see some of it there, a bit more there and a bit more here. A nice one up here now. This isn't an edible mushroom, so uh, that's not what we use it for. But if I get this one here, although their uh, common name is King Alfred's cake, um, that's mainly because King Alfred burnt cakes. And you can see it looks a little bit like a burnt cake now. You can see there, if I break it in half, it's kind of black all the way through, uh, nice and shiny, um, and it's got concentric rings. That's uh, partly the reason for its scientific name, Daldinia concentrica. And uh, this is a mushroom that has been used for millennia. They found traces of this mushroom on old, I think it might even have been Pilton Man or, or something like that. Um, and what our ancestors would have used this mushroom for is for lighting and transporting fires. So I'll show you now. This is one I've just got off the tree, so it's a tiny bit damp. What you would normally do is dry them uh, just for a day or so after you've got them off the tree. But you can see very quickly here, just with a little bit of flame, especially if I blow on it, you can see it's smouldering. It gives off a nice aromatic smoke as well, a bit sort of, it's sort of like incense. And in autumn, when we go out for walks on our cold days, we, uh, we give them to people as hand warmers because they give off a fierce amount of heat. But you can see that's glowing quite well now. And it will glow without any attention for, you know, one about this size, probably 20 minutes. Um, there are much bigger ones down there, as you can see, and they, they give off a, a fierce amount of heat. So you can use them for cooking over. Um, you can also use them for lighting fires because when they're really dry, they'll take a spark from uh, a flint and steel. Uh, but what they were mainly used for, or what we think they were mainly used for, would be been transporting fire. So if you build a fire in one place, you have a little stash of King Alfred's cakes in your pocket. When you're leaving that place, set one off smouldering and the bigger ones can smoulder for a couple of hours and what you're then carrying around is a portable fire so next time you stop to make camp and you want to make a cup of tea or cook you don't have to go through all of the uh, the, the process of, of flint and steel and spark lighting um, so yeah very useful mushroom I think our special forces are taught about them to, to use them potentially as sort of charcoal briquettes um, for these kind of reasons this one I'm going to make sure that I put out properly because as I said it'll smoulder for quite a long time. That's that gone. This bit of wood here, I'm not sure because it's in a bit of a state but it, um, it could be a dead ash. The, uh, the King Alfred's cake prefers to grow on ash but it will grow on lots of different types of tree. Um, a very common mushroom. Now that I've shown it to you, you should. If you look around on dead bits of wood everywhere you go, you'll find this mushroom pretty quickly. Take some home and dry them and, uh, and have a go yourself. If you want to find out more, go to www.wildfooduk.com.